today i want to talk about something very very controversial i don't know like something that everyone has their opinion about who is a slay queen in kenya and how makeup has turned me into a slay queen the slay queen parties hard and have their makeup intact all the time the first time i wore makeup and i went to work the first impression of the first person i met the first question he asked me was are you still married to the same man or you guys split up so guys today i want to talk about something welcome back to my channel for the first not for the first time welcome back to my channel um again today i want to talk about something very very controversial i don't know like something that everyone has their opinion about uh basing on the topic on my thumbnail today we are talking about slay queens who is a slay queen in kenya and how makeup has turned me into a slay queen like a kenyan version of a slay queen just because i put on makeup that is what i want to share with you guys today and um i want to say that uh, this has been something that has affected me <laughs> in a very not bad way not positive or not negative just because i do not like put my mind into it so hard so i went into google to check the meaning of the word slay queen and i could not believe what i got yo so google says a slay queen is a woman who wants to choke everyone else with how beautiful and cool they are social media and slay queen are chanda na pete like they're literally social media and slay queens are like this you can never separate them the slay queen parties hard and have their makeup intact all the time so we always not we but slay queens always have their makeup on point 24 7 so i went ahead and checked who is a slay queen in kenya so it says uh the slay queen definition is that of a diva from urban location who believes that she's the envy of other women and every man's eye candy my god i just had to stop there because yes before i'm not sure about other countries it's trying to give me definitions of slay queens in south africa in kenya in africa but i hadn't checked them out maybe i could just sneak peek on what it means in um in um in uh slay queen in south africa uh candies and little they be mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, have become the top of the town of that mm -hmm. i don't know south africa is not giving me a definition it's just giving me Okay, so let's start by saying the first time I wore makeup and I went to work, the first impression of the first person I met, the first question he asked me was, are you still married to the same man or you guys split up? And I was like, why? And he was like, um... I was like, but the same man can, you know, make me slay. I don't have to change my man to slay. You know, you know what I'm saying. So he was trying to say that, uh, he was trying to say that for me to look good and for me to have to have to have had makeup on my face or just to look good or have good hair and everything, I must have had another person who is sponsoring my appearance you know what i'm trying to say like some other men and 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 most of the time people associate slay queen with old men that we rip off not we rip off because i'm not that pressure of a slay queen but people tend to say the slay queens rip off older men so that they can finance their lives or they have to sleep around with men but growing up that was not the case i used to know that slaying means being on point rocking your life you know good hair good makeup good dress code you know feeling good about yourself that i use what i used to identify as slaying you know you are a slay girl so nowadays people don't even want to be called slay queens they're calling themselves slay mamas just to get rid of the word queen because queen now is associated with sleeping around with men or ripping off men or leaving off men or wearing makeup of men so ever since i started putting on makeup i've been called slay queen a thousand times people have opinions of how i fund my 
makeup products of which they're not even so much but i'm married so if i cannot afford to buy them for myself my hubby can do that people have opinions of friends that i have so if i have male friends they will always tend to think that i'm living off their money just because i am putting on makeup and i am i never used to put on makeup before this makeup journey started like two two years this is my second year going to my second year and people have tagged me names others have said i'm sleeping around with men and you know with my friends and everything and i'm always like what no i wear makeup like this put on gamboots and put on a road and i go to gikomba downstream where they sell fish and i buy fish and all that mud i buy fish and i go out selling the fish and i earn my own money because i've been working since 2011 so but the makeup journey I started it in 20 when 2019 let's say around 20 late 2017 or early 2018 over there so people were like hey since i never used to wear makeup before i must have changed the man i was with or i must have i'm still with the man but i'm stripping off someone else you know what i'm trying to say but i'm just trying to tell people not everyone who wears makeup is a slay queen in that sense yes we are slaying and yes we are queens in our own versions but we are not ripping off men not everyone rips off men not everyone lives off a man not everyone lives all women not everyone needs sponsors to have good hair and to have good makeup on and everything like that so comment down below let me know if you fear putting on makeup because you fear being tagged as a slay queen but at the end of the day let me tell you whoever wants to think let them think whatever they want to think because at the end of the day somebody else's opinion of you does not have to become your reality but uh, i just wanted to put this out there that just because i wear makeup does not make me <laughs> a kenyan version of a slay queen or the world's version of a slay queen yes i'm slaying even yesterday somebody stopped me and like slay queen mambo and i was like nipoa because yo i was slaying i was hot i was feeling like i'm looking all good Sava, I'm slaying my makeup. Sava, I'm, I'm like, it's all put together. So, why wouldn't I be a slay queen? So, if you think that uh, everyone who wears makeup or have fake lashes, rips of men, please, you have to change your ideas. And I'm not forcing you to change it. We don't care what you think. That's your problem. Continue thinking it that way. But at the end of the day, we are slaying in our version. We like our, you know, we wear makeup for ourselves to feel good about ourselves. So, we don't care what you see <laughs> yes so yeah so don't be afraid for putting on makeup because someone will call you a slay queen yes i take selfies like a thousand selfies and uh slay queens dress in a very funny way and there's a way they talk that i don't like by the way <laughs> there's a way these tagged slay queen girls talk like if you just meet one you'll just definitely call her a slay queen and even me personally as a girl admit them and i'll just say only slay queen because there's a way they talk there's a way they talk that i do not like i'm not sure if i talk like that but if i do sorry but as for now what i'm trying to say is that the only man i'm living off and i don't even have to give you explanations to which man i'm living off his money off but at the end of the day i slay on my own version i hope i'm not repeating myself but i hope i'm helping somebody out there that let people call you whatever they want to call you as long as you know who you are it doesn't really matter keep on slaying baby girl don't let anyone put you down just because they're calling you a slave queen slay baby girl slay from head to toe slay as long as it's your money slay it okay slay it get the rest from me slay it and don't let anyone put you down okay you can stay on social media all you want you can fake your life if you want to <laughs> I don't think it's my problem. Personally, I am a ghetto girl, like I'm a hood girl. If I start speaking Shang here, all of you are going to disappear. All of you will be like, where's that English? But I'm just trying to play like you guys narada. I'm trying to a slay queen, a slay queen. I life yao, sawa. Na muachane nao. But then again, ladies, we have to respect ourselves. If you're a lady out there and you're living off other people's money and other people's husbands and faking your life all over social media and everything, 
I don't know if it gives you satisfaction, but at the end of the day, it's going to leave you empty. So just try and check the group of people you roll out with. In the definition, it says they party hard, they drink. I don't even take alcohol. I don't like clubbing. I hate going to clubs because I hate the noise. So if you're saying, you're not telling me I'm a sleep queen, at somebody else's man is what I'm using, blah, 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 blah. That's just your idea. Just keep it the way you want to keep it. But initially, makeup made people call me a slay queen. So yes, I'm a slay queen and I'm proud of being a slay queen because I slay using my own money and I slay my face. I slay my makeup like there is no other day I'm going to put on makeup on my face, okay? So I am so grateful. I know this video might not make sense to some other people. It might not even make sense to most of the people. But it is making sense to me because I just had to get it out and tell people, yo, it's fine for you guys to call me a slave queen however you want, but I am not going to stop putting on makeup just because somebody calls me a slave queen and somebody thinks I'm a slave queen. That is their problem, okay? That is their problem. Think I'm a slave queen or don't think I'm a slave queen. I wear makeup to feel good about myself. So I'm going to see you guys on another video next week. Please don't forget to check out. There's a video where I created this eye look. It was a tutorial on one eyeshadow look. So if you haven't checked that out on my channel, please make sure you do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe down below. And comment on this video. Like it. Share it. And do all that that you're supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know if it's, comment, it's subscribing here or here, but I know it's somewhere yes so don't forget to subscribe i love you guys so much comment down below let me know what people think are slay queens in your countries or what you think about yourself if you're a slay queen or if you're a slay mama or if you're a slay baby or if you're a slay king we have slay queens too <laughs> uh, all that okay so yeah like i call my brother slay king not that he's my bro slays yeah he slays and if he's watching this video he's like yes he's we slay we slay by the way i'm gonna bring him on this video one of these times he's he's just the bomb so i'll see you guys next time because <laughs> before i even forget there's a day i put on a dress and then my daughter commented and she was like mama unaka slay queen i was like slay queen ni nani she was like sinu wasiana wa dogo wale wanavanga dress kama yo beba oh my goodness my daughter is just six years and she knows who a slay queen is <laughs> who are you not to know who a slay queen is so I'm going to see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like this video. And most definitely subscribe to my channel. This is CJ here. Let me know if you want us to have more talk videos. I can rant by the way. That's why I avoid doing talk videos. Because I can talk a lot. So I'll see you guys next time. And for that, y'all know what I say. Bye-bye.